It always looks kind of funny to me when I see myself with like full blown done up makeup but my eyes aren't done like at all. It just throws me off, you know? Especially because I usually do my eye makeup first and then I do everything else so right now I'm feeling kind of like the, that song. It's like one of those things is not like the other. Hello everyone! I'm here for another First Impression Friday and I am so excited to share with you guys a new mascara. This was a press sample that was sent to me recently and I really wanted to sit down and share with you guys my first thoughts and impressions and everything on this mascara because it's a really interesting one. I haven't seen anything like this so I wanted to test it out on my lashes today. And also it's a drugstore mascara so pretty stoked about this. And it is the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. This is coming out I believe in May but I will put more information in the info bar below if I come across anything else. If you guys have any requests for future First Impression Fridays, leave them in the comment section below or thumbs up ones that you guys want to see next. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and for the current period of time, Fridays as well. And without further ado, let's get into this. So first of all, they sent little cue cards which is which fun. So it's designed with a dual-sided unique wand to leave your lashes full and refined but never messy. One edge is designed to build volume while the other is built to easily catch, comb, and tease away any clumps. Kind of like this chick right here with the big fanned out lashes. I think that's, that's the look we're going for today. That doesn't even look like a real eye. Was that just drawn on? I don't understand. All right, let's zoom in, see what this looks like. All right, so... Oh, cool. So that is what the mascara wand looks like. You can see on one end, it just has some short bristles right at the edge, and then it has regular mascara bristly things uh, around the rest of it. That little part right there is called the teaser comb just in case anyone was curious. It's interesting because the fibers on these are very flexible, they're rubbery, um, they're very separated, and the little teaser comb they have on the one end is very flexible, so I'm not sure how that's supposed to like comb out any of the clumps in your, in your lashes, but that's what they say it does. And it has no mascara bristles on the back underneath this little teaser comb, and also none down the other side either. Really the only um, fibers and everything are on the sides, which is kind of interesting. I guess you kind of have to be careful on like where you're applying your mascara, but all right, sure, we'll work with that. And the thing with mascaras I always find is that everyone's preference is going to be a little bit different. This is supposed to give very fanned out looking lashes. I don't know how you can get fanned out but also volume, but I will take their word for it at the present moment until I see it on my eyes. So I'm just gonna start by curling my lashes and now we'll get into the application. So I'm gonna start with the regular sort of mascara wand and brush the mascara into my lashes and then we'll see what they look like. And then I'm gonna take this little teaser comb and if there are any clumps, kind of brush them out. I will say right off the bat, it's sort of terrifying me a little bit when I'm bringing this close to my eye and you see that big clump of like the little teaser comb at one end and you're like, oh my gosh, it's gonna go directly into my eyeball. Maybe we'll do it the other way. There we go. All right, so that's what the mascara looks like. One application, not using the little teaser comb. So you can see my lashes look a little bit on the clumpy side, but they look dark, they look long. All good things so far. So let's see what happens when I put this little teaser comb to the test. And that is after the teaser comb has been applied to the lashes. So you can see it sort of fanned them all out, it has separated them, made it look a little bit more refined, not as voluminous. Um, but it did do a good job in terms of getting rid of any of the clumping. So I'll do one coat to the other side and then we'll see what happens when we layer. See what, see what that looks like. Alright, so that's one coat on the other side and to be honest I don't see any clumps to begin with. So this is what my lashes look like after one application. So you can see they are very fanned out. They're not super voluminous but I do see a nice black sort of band along the bottom which adds a little bit of fullness. The mascara has given my lashes some good um, structure which I appreciate. I like the way they look so far. This is much more of an everyday mascara. Now I'm gonna go in with a second coat and we'll see how that compares to just having one coat on. We'll see if the little teaser comb does a good job with that. Look at all those clumps. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of prefer that. All right, now let's comb these suckers out. All right, so that is two coats versus one coat. I definitely prefer two coats to one coat, but let's let's be honest, we all saw that coming. It's interesting because the teaser wand is actually in the mascara, so it's actually depositing some mascara to your lashes while also separating them, which is um, kind of different. You, you, It's not like one kind of stroke and it's gonna get rid of all of the clumps, it actually, it's gonna deposit 
more mascara and then it's gonna brush through everything so just as kind of like a heads up for that in terms of the formula it is definitely a drier formula I'm not getting as many um, clumps of mascara on my uh, on my lids as I normally would and I, I mean I still have some on there because I'm super messy when it comes to mascara but definitely less than I normally would or with a much wetter mascara. So I prefer this formula for sure. And I actually kind of like using the little teaser wand for applying the mascara to like the little baby lashes near the front, which I don't think it's supposed to be used for, but I, I'm enjoying that. You definitely have to finesse it. Like I, you can see I have like these little clumps on the outside edges of my lashes and you definitely have to kind of go in a couple of times to kind of separate them because obviously as the mascara is drying, it's gonna be a lot harder to remove any of those clumps. So as you're adding more layers, it's gonna become a lot more difficult to comb out any of those bigger clumps that you have. So you kind of have to go as you're going through each layer of mascara. So that is what my eyelashes look like with two coats of mascara. So you can see that in comparison side by side to the um, one coat, I definitely prefer the two coats of mascara. I think my lashes look a lot more bold and voluminous. But yeah, in terms of a first impression, I like it. I'm gonna add a little bit to my lower lashes. I'm gonna go about my day and I will come back and I will check in with you guys at the end of the day and let you know if you know my lashes have fallen at all in terms of curl, if there's any flaking under the eyes or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so far, so far so good. I like the way my lashes are looking. I'm impressed. It's not at all like the package though. Like these lashes, oh, is this chick gonna be, oh, hold on. I have to put her eyeball back one second. I don't feel like that is what my lashes are looking like. This is a lot more refined and fanned out than my lashes look like, but maybe that's just also the way that my lashes are. But yeah, I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna clean up my, my lids a little bit, add a little to the lower lashes, and then I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. Actually, before I go about my day, I just want to show you guys what it looks like with um, the bottom mascara on there. It is very easy to apply it because it's a drier formula so you can kind of manipulate how much you want to put onto the lashes so you can see I don't have too too much on. I want to show you guys that I am adding a little bit of um, liner to the tight line because it's driving me bananas that you can see some of the skin um, between sort of my lashes and my eye. Now I'm gonna go about my day and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Okay so it is the literal end of the day. It's like 11:45 at night and I wanted to kind of show you guys the update on the mascara. Don't mind the rest of my makeup. Entirely forgot that I had some on, but the mascara is holding up really well. It is, my lashes are still curled. They haven't been flaking under the eyes. Like I did touch my eyes earlier and like there was like a little bit under there, but overall they've held up incredibly well. They look really good all day. And this mascara has been on for like a full like 14 hours, guys. Like. That's pretty impressive. I like the way that my lashes look. I'm definitely gonna be using this one again. Definite good first impression. And by end of day, the fact that my lashes are still holding up and still really curled, I'm pretty impressed. You win, CoverGirl. You win this. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more First Impression Friday videos. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And for the springtime, at least, we're going to be doing every Friday as well, a First Impression Friday. Um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, wonderful week, and I will see you guys all on Tuesday. Love you, girls. Mwah.